Just in on trade is this absolutely show quality 1982 Olds Cutlass. It's one of the first ones I've had in for a long time. Just a great body style, nice and light, but yet an excellent driving car. Um, it's riding on a brand new set of uh, Rally, the correct Oldsmobile Rally wheels with BFG raised white letter tires all the way around. What's so amazing on the car is the paint job. It's a beautiful dark blue, and everywhere you look, whether it's in the jams under the hood, it just still looks wet. I mean, just gorgeous finish on the whole car. Powered by a built 350 with headers that sounds excellent. It's got an Eldebrock four barrel. Power steering, power brakes. Was an AC car. But check out the paint job on the bottom of the hood and the engine compartment. And yes, this engine compartment looks just as nice in person. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a champion aluminum radiator. It's got the aluminum pulleys. It's got the chrome alternator, chrome valve covers, air breather. Not only does this engine compartment engine look good, it runs really good as well. Very hard running cutlass. Nice hood gap on the driver's side. Top of the fender and the top of the hood line up perfectly. There's our body line there, lines up excellent. Same here. From front to back, the gap is really nice. Front bumper is in excellent shape, grill is great. The chrome around the headlights is all original, same with the grill. Um, and it's still in very nice shape for being 30 some years old. It's, it's excellent. The stainless steel on the bottom of the car um, is probably like a four inch wide strip, about six inches wide by the door. It's in excellent shape from front to back. If you look up and down the sides, the body is super straight, paint's nice. No chips anywhere on the hood. Uh, front fender passenger side, there's no chips, no dings, no blisters anywhere on the paint. Uh, passenger door is excellent. I don't see any imperfections there as well. It's got the old Oldsmobile Motorsports uh, door handle. No chips or scratches anywhere that I can see on the passenger side from front to back. We open up the door, the door jam paint is just as nice as the exterior paint. Check out that corner of that door, it's never had any body filler. Rubbers are all new at the time of the restoration. It's got the Cutlass, it is a Cutlass Supreme, it's got power locks and um, manual windows. Door panels are original in the front. Seat covers are original and everything for original, in my opinion, is in great shape. Carpet's excellent. Seat backs have a couple little scratches you can kind of see at the bottom there. But all in all, fantastic yet. Back seat's great, no cigarette burns, no tears, no odor. Back door panels are just as nice as the front ones. Headliner's nice. Dome light does not appear to work. Sun visors are in great shape as well does have the factory bucket seats, console, wood grain all on the dash and console is still in great shape. It's got its original AM FM cassette radio. The 
door shuts nice, has a nice even gap from top to bottom. The vinyl top's in fantastic shape. It looks brand new. No bubbles or blisters anywhere. It's got a great shine to it. it. Does have the rear spoiler. The correct dual exhaust with nice chrome tips comes out the side. Uh, chrome on the back bumpers, original and is still in great shape. Tail light lenses, um, cross the trunk lid, reverse light lenses, all that's original and in really nice shape still. Look up and down the side, laser straight. I mean, this car has been wet, sand, and buff to a beautiful shine. Whoever painted this really knew what they were doing. Uh, driver's side, quarter panel, door and fender is just as nice as the rest of the car. Don't see any scratches, chips, blisters. No uh, blisters anywhere in the rocker as well. That chrome trim on the bottom is in really nice shape. looking for one of these cutlasses you got to look a long time to find one any nicer than this if you like blue this is an awesome car it's got chrome uh, door hinges on it you can see the door jam paint is just flawless on it bottom of the door uh, driver's side seat original no tears no cigarette burns no stains that I can see anywhere The odometer shows 16,783 miles. I'm guessing that's only 116 with the, the condition of this interior. Uh, it does have the factory tack, um, works properly. Idle is uh, idling just a little fast. Um, temp gauge, oil pressure gauge is up here. The factory uh, oil pressure and temp gauge are not working. Uh, gas gauge works. Heater fan does not work. Original AM FM radio works. Earlier I said the dome light didn't work, it does work off the switch. Does have tilt, does have cruise. The horn is not working, so the things that do not work on it, I'll check the wipers real quick here. Wipers aren't working either, so we got some things to fix when we get back. Um, the wipers don't work right now, the horn ain't working, and neither is the heater fan. All the gauges work um, with the because of the aftermarket gauges put in here. All the other factory ones work, including the tachometer. What I like about this car is not only does it look like a show winning car, um, this car's got a lot of power, it drives great, we'll get it down the road here and uh, you'll get that experience in a second. The front suspension feels great, the steering's nice and tight, shocks feel nice on it. Yeah, both the front and rear shocks feel great on it. Does have power disc brakes on the front, nice firm pedal. 
stops nice, no pull left or right. It's got good acceleration. Nice and quiet down the road. As I mentioned before, it's got new exhaust, it's got new tires, rims are new. Just a fantastic drive in 82 Cutlass that uh, you can drive to any classic car show and be super proud of it.